more in tune with what's going on in Barcelona than what's going on in Paris. There is uh, real passion. They were champions back in 2009 when they beat Clermont in the final. They lost to Clermont the following year. They were beaten by Clermont in the semi-finals in 2008 as well. So there's uh, a little bit of history between these two clubs in the uh, not too distant past. Perpignan uh, have found their, their support increasing in line with their success of late, taking supporters with them to every game. And uh, this is a lockdown, lockout again at the Stade Emi Giral. Christophe Urios on the right of your screen there. The Clermont boss just waiting uh, in the tunnel for these two teams to make their way out for the start of this top 14 match. Round 23, we're getting to the sharp end. Pepignon in the powder blue shirts. Eager to make it six wins in a row. Well, <laughs> both sides deciding to wear blue today, but I think there's enough difference between them. The powder blue of Perpignan, and you'll notice they have the, uh, the Catalonia socks as well. If there is any confusion with your with the, with your screen, some people. Well, actually, no, I'm right. I don't think anyone has a black and white telly anymore, do they? Clermont in the uh, darker blue shirts with the yellow trimming. And it's uh, Clermont who will start the game playing with the wind at their backs. Pepignon won the toss, chose to play into the wind. And they are fired up for this one. Jeremy Rosier, the man with the whistle. It's firm underfoot. It's still a grass pitch in Perpignan. That's going to change, sadly, during the course of the summer. But for the moment, at least, it's turf. Solo Tuilagi, 19 years old. What a season he's had. Breaking into the French team, so much to play for. It is Anthony Bello who gets us uh, rocking and rolling in this top 14 match as uh, Clermont drive into the uh, Perpignan 22. The home side looking for a quick escape. Tom Ecochat, the scrum half, giving the orders. And it's Jake McIntyre who wallops the ball into touch. 30-year-old Queenslander has uh, enjoyed himself since coming to Perpignan. Had a little spell with Clermont, of course, in uh, 2021. Not straight, says the ref. And not a good start for uh, Johan Beheregare. À l'extérieur des 22 mètres. À gauche de la marque, gardez le break foot. Hein. Introduction, attendez pour la stabilité d'abord. Allez, Mossage C'est quand même Franck et Christophe Orios know each other very well. Flexion Lié Both looking to urge their teams on. Neither of these considered. Potential champions at the start of the season, of course. Clermont probably got too much to do. Perpignan, though, a win today could set it up nicely for them. They could get themselves into the top six. Little knock on there. It's going to be a, a Clermont put in. First knock on. Lucas Dubois not able to uh, cling on. Oui, 
So they settle. There's some big guns in the uh, front rows, as you'd expect. A couple of them actually going to be switching places next season. Sasha Lotrian, the Pepignon loose head, uh, will be swapping places with Jorgi Beria, the Clermont loose head. Flexion. Different side to the scrum today, of course. Lié. Just waiting, struggling to uh, get the scrummage underway. So just uh, giving instructions just to uh, have a little patience, keep the space and uh, yeah, just give it time, be patient. They're a noisy bunch down in uh, Perpignan. The supporters getting behind the team as they lean in now. The pack lean in for their first scrummage of the day. Out it comes. Quick hands from uh, Clermont looking to break through the middle. It's Dari Carrière and Erito in the centres. In goes uh, Paselli Yato. Dug out by Jono. Driven in by uh, Paul Jeraziek. Uh, looking to flip it out wide. Newsom making space for uh, Yerim Fall. Back it comes again with uh, Jono. Still they come. There is a barrier. Oh, and he's made good progress, the uh, loose head prop. Yato again making ground. This is good work from Claremont. Just knocking little holes. Oh, the ball has gone forward. That was a good intervention. And now is there a chance for Perpignan to attack from deep? Lovely little inside pass for a Dewey Gavalo, and the chase is on. Echo Sharp runs into a brick wall called Alex Newsom. McIntyre goes aerial. Claremont forced back into their own 22. Jerry Surant collects, drills the ball into touch, and everyone can take. A little breath. Well, action at both ends there. Terrific work by Clermont, but that ball just scooped out of the hands of uh, Thibaut Lannan. The counter-attack brilliantly worked by uh, Perpignan, making ground in the midfield, just uh, a <laughs> fine tackle. Slightly uh, put the broaden end to that one. Big tackle indeed. Take a bow, Alex Newsom. But still, the uh, momentum with Perpignan. Oh, dearie me, that's not right. Selana Lamb will be disappointed with that, his first uh, line out throw. And now it's Claremont. Oh dear, Newsom fumbles. Now there's a little knock on, and there is a charge on. Is it very damu? No, it's, uh, excuse me, doing a balu. Played back. It's Clermont who have uh, taken possession, but into touch they go. Perpignan want to bring it back. It's a little knock on from Newsom. Good work by uh, Dewey Gavalu. Take it all the way. Lamb has it. Not going very well at the moment, but round the corner goes Lamb. Now he is going well. Back it comes from Ecosha. In goes Lutrian. There's a little bit of space. Patrick Sobello runs into the tackle. Tuilagi is there. He's got help from Madela Fuente. 
Perpignan just meters from the line. Closing in. This is great work and they've got the penalty. Well, it's not what they were after. They wanted the seven points. But Claremont forced into the uh, into the infringement. And I think Jay McIntyre going to take the points. David Marty, keen for them to crack on, I think. Have a go at the go at the line, but uh, three points will get them up and running. Well, it looked as though that mall was really had really got stuck, but then Lamb broke off the side, really injected some pace and power into the Pepignon progress. So Jake McIntyre teeing up what should be a fairly straightforward three-pointer. He's got 73 points to his name so far this season, and now it's 76. Perpignan lead, Clermont by three points to nil. Real party atmosphere at the start M.A. Giral. But still early days. A high ball once again, collected by Sobello. Ecochard, the man digging it out. In his 12th season now with the club, Ecochard, and his debut back in 2012. One or two long timers in both sides, in fact. <whistles> Clermont come away with it. Oh, it's a little bit untidy. McIntyre collects. Oh, can the Australian turn it into something? Away goes Oviedo. Oviedo crashing towards the line. It's still there for Perpignan. Ecosha digs it out. Back it comes. It's uh, Duigavalo who's held up and is turned over. And Clermont managed to clear their lines, hiking the ball upfield. McIntyre chasing back to collect and they'll have to start all over again, but uh, McIntyre going with a long boot. No, no, rest here. Well, this one could go through the back. Just holding up short, Anthony Bello. Who uh, must still be feeling the pain a little bit from last week. He missed a couple of uh, kickable kicks in that match against the Sharks. It's always unfair to blame the kicker, but it is inevitable. Terrific work from uh, Joaquin Oviedo. Back to uh, the line out on halfway. Both sides looking to uh, stretch their legs. It's the kind of French rugby we, we just love to watch. Good take from Tongi. Infringement by uh, Robert Slimani in the line out. Taking out the lifter in the line. McIntyre finds the touch. Again, a good attacking position for the Catalans. Really great opportunity for them to attack this Clermont line. It's good that it is a shirt sleeve day. 27 degrees down in Perpignan. You can play the drums 
topless. If you no, so no. desire. On the drive goes Sasha Lotrien. Back it comes, little pop for Dewey Givalu, but again, the uh, tackle comes in quickly. The ball bumped forward. <laughs> and Joris Girard bundled into touch. So Clermont still under a little bit of pressure. Silala Lamb just having a little bit of treatment. On y va? A fairly hectic start to this game. And some of these big fellas, like uh, Posolo Tuilagi, are going to feel the pace later on. So the, uh, the replacements are going to have a really vital role. They always do, of course, but uh, perhaps more so today. Because this is going to be an exhausting, exhausting encounter, I think. Both teams with 5-3 splits on the bench. Suggests they uh, want to keep the ball running. We will see. That's for the second half. Drums battering away in the stadium. The crowd loving it. Flexion! And they go. Baptiste Jonot not delivering uh, the ball into the scrum, but uh, calling back. Jonot, he's one to watch for the future. He's uh, a France under 20 scrum half. He is only uh, 20 years old. Again, uh, with uh, Biarritz before moving to Clermont in 2021. There's another young fellow on the bench as well, Théo Giral, who's just 21. So they got talent at halfback, young, young talent. Morgan Power, of course, wore that jersey. For many, many years. 13 seasons, Morgan Parrott was the... Uh, oh dear, that's not quite uh, gone to plan, but it's uh, well, well covered by uh, Louis Dup Dupichot. Got out of jail with that one. But uh, it's ripped away. Echo Shah wasn't... Uh, didn't have the muscles for that one. Beria driving forward. Forward, but it is with uh, Lannan. Claremont looking to move it. Bello, and it feeds outside. Oh dear, there's another knock on. Well, that's a disappointing end. The line was at their mercy there. A little shake of the head. That should have been in. Well, well. It was the tackle. Echo Shah tries to get it, but it's ripped out of his clutches. Great work by uh, Marcos Kramer. So good on the ground, of course, Kramer. Christophe Urios doesn't need to say anything. I think we know what he's thinking. So it's uh, Nemo Roloffs up, who was penalised, so it will be a penalty for Clermont, so they will get something out of it. Anthony Bello fancies the idea of levelling up the scores. Taking his time, he's got time, he's, uh, he, they have the clock counter. So even though he doesn't need to use all the time, he's uh, just taking it and getting a little bit of uh, a strapping going on at the same time, is it? It's going on to uh, Thibaut Lannan. He's 
Bello. Tees up the kick. Just wobbles its way through. Claremont R&D level. It's three all at the start. Emmy Giral. Bello up to 83 points for the season. So all square after 15 minutes. Which isn't unreasonable. Both sides have uh, been looking to play it wide, play it open, play it fast. Jono calls on the Caterpillar to help out. Use his left boot to send the ball into touch. Pepignon don't have a good record against Clermont of late. The visitors have won eight of the last ten matches the two teams have played. And they've won one on four of their last six visits to uh, Perpignan. Clement have also won the last four matches between the two sides, so they really are, uh, in historical terms, in the better place. But Perpignan on a roll at the moment. Five wins on the bounce, looking to make it six. Looking for a place in the top six as Tuilagi takes the ball on. Echo Sharp can't get his hands on it. So back they come. For the little knock on. In fact, it's, in fact, it's for a high tackle, excuse me. Merci, Rick. So, a chance for McIntyre to uh, find a touch. Joris Girard, a man penalised. He was uh, almost a hero last week. Scored two tries against the Sharks. Dotted down a third time. But had it ruled out. Crowd get up again behind their team. Salala Lamb with the line out goes long this time and does brilliantly to find Sobello. Oh, that's a good take. Good maul for uh, Pepignon. Closing in on the line. They're just 10 metres or so out. Ekoshar has the ball. Feeds very Damu. He can't get through. In goes Lotrian. Moving it back the other way. Tongi's held up. McIntyre. Oh, he's found a space. Very Damu. Closing in on the line. He's going to go over for his 12th try of the season. Tavite Veridamu, who played for Clermont just a few years ago, touches down for the first try of the day for Perpignan. It will need to be checked, I think, by uh, Eric Briquet. Compain. Well, the referee, Jeremy Rosier, has given the try, but he's just got a suspicion there may have been a knock on. Let's have a look. Well, there is Veridamu. Oh, he did drop it, didn't he? That didn't look like a proper touchdown to me. Yep, he's dropped it. That's not going to stand. He's the player of the ball. He loses the control, there's a separation. The ball goes towards the back, so it will be in front, but the blue is in front, but the blue is in front. Well... Disappointing for the home side, and... Uh, disappointing for Tavite Veridamu. He's going to have to wait to score against his old club. And to be fair to him, he only played four matches for uh, Clermont. That was in the 20-20-21 season. I'm trying to remember now, that was during COVID time, wasn't it? So uh, I don't think he got a lot of rugby. Only played four matches. Scored a couple of tries for them, mind you. Back with Perpignan. 
They're looking to come once again. Oh, it's uh, Ecochard tidying up, does well. McIntyre, oh, it does well, finds De La Fuente. Veridamu again. He's got space, Sabella driving at his opposite number. Well, he's driving at Newsom, in fact, who uh, oh, did well to bring him down. He's tackled well, Alex Newsom. Lotrian is held up. Ecochard feeds once more. McIntyre, he's enjoying himself this afternoon. Looking for the break. Veridamu feeding Ecochard once more. There's some desperate tackling going on from uh, Clermont. I don't know if they're in the way there. It looks as though uh, Luca De Senia may be on the wrong side, but still Pepignon piling forward. Knocked back in the tackle, though. This is good defence from Clermont. Still the powder blue shirts of Perpignan edging towards the line. McIntyre outside Veridamu is going to get a second chance. Driving towards the line. He's not going to make it, but the ball is there. And in fact, he's holding on in the tackle. And has given away the penalty. Well, that's, that's annoying. That's greedy because it needed another phase, maybe in two more phases. On y va. Capitaine, on joue, on joue, on joue, allez, on y va, tempo s'il vous plaît. Oh, Clermont doing well, getting the chance to clear, but uh, Papignon really, they should have had a try. Always that uh, temptation just to hang on, to roll over instead of making the ball available as quick as you can or getting the offload in. Varadamo perhaps guilty there, just trying to cling on to it for too long. Some excellent defence though from Clermont. 3-3 after 21 minutes, Clermont this time go long, it's untidy but they get the ball back. Bello over the top looking for space and looking for touch and uh, well it's kept in it's uh, bouncing free it's Pepignon who do collect but uh, into a hurried clearance again living just slightly dangerously there succeeding in keeping the ball in but without without any great plan they do get it clear Big one this for Johan Beeregare. Last one was a decent throw. Is he going to go long again? Goes middle with Luca Desseigne. And it's Yato looking to drive the ball forward. Vous vous revenez en contact avec les joueurs devant. Contact en premier. Involontaire, ça sera It's going to be uh, Pepignon who get the put in. Uh, on uh, involuntary contact with one of his teammates in front of him. There was uh, Desaigne, I think, who was at fault, not 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 that it was his fault as such, he just couldn't quite cling on and uh, Yasso drove into him, used him as a, as a buffer. Ecochard, looking to move the ball wide from deep, little dink through, now the chase is on, it's going to reach touch. So I wasn't quite there for uh, Luca Dupois. Not quite getting it right, but there was a good idea. Try and get uh, Dubois on the front foot. Neatly done. Leon Daricarrière wearing number 12, just 19 years old. 
And that is nicely taken by Dubois this time. Oh, now it's Tui Lagi. He uh, was looking for someone to pass to. There wasn't anyone there, so he went on his own. Took out a couple of tacklers in the meantime. McIntyre. Oh, that's a good tackle on Dewey Gavalu. Lamb is held. McIntyre. Clermont looking to close them down very quickly. Dupichot manages to find Della Fuente. There's a little bit of space opened up for Tongi. Ekusha. Della Fuente. It's with Lotrian. Lotrian now, but if he can get the pass in, he couldn't. He was just looking to try and get the pass in no, behind no, no. the back of the tackler. Ambitious thinking. It's the way the game has changed. I'm not sure Jason Leonard would ever have tried that one. It's a lovely handling from uh, Pierre Pignon. And that was it, the tackle coming in from uh, Alex Newsom forced the uh, forced the error. Well, just having a little water break, which makes sense. When it's 27 degrees. Comme il y avait un joueur au sol, etc. Et qu'il n'y a pas eu d'arrêt. On fait une pause rapide et on reprend. Là, c'est bon. Non, c'est pas prévu. It is a warm afternoon for these players. On y va. And it's going to get warmer when you think uh, we've still got another three rounds of the regular season to go, plus playoffs, plus a final at the end of June. Oh, they're going to be. Getting their suntan cream out. On y va, en place. Hein? Non, mais c'est qu'il y avait un jour au sol là, et c'est bon, on l'a fait rapidement. On y va. So Jeremy Rosier trying to get the players back together again to restart the game. 26 minutes in, and uh, surprisingly, the scoreline. Still three all. We've had uh, opportunities. Pepignon with the better opportunities. We did have one try ruled out from uh, Tavite Veridamu. Couldn't quite get the touchdown, just dropped it as he uh, went over the line. Clermont hanging on well, though, really defending superbly. Time will come, I'm sure. In the past, Clermont were often seen as a second half team. They would uh, keep it tight for the first half and then let go in the second. It's a different team today, of course. It's a very young team. Building for the future. And now, is there a little bit of space for doing a Malu? Oh, another big tackle comes in on uh, Echo Sharp. <laughs> Referee's going to bring them back Capitaine. for a penalty. So Paselli Yato, the man. Penalised. So, donc pénalité là où il y a mon juge de touche là-bas. Vous mêlez ici. Pénalité vers mon juge de touche. Vous mêlez ici. Oh, that was a big tackle. Mêlez au point de départ du coup de pied. Echo Shaw will wear that for a while. That was uh, this is opposite number, I think. Jamais remis en jeu. Jean Baptiste Jonot. Zone des 10 mètres, le 8 bleu. Going back 
for a scrum, it's not a penalty. Echo Sharp will have the put in. Flexion! Lié! Sharp! The squeeze is on, down go the front rows, but the ball is back. Referee playing on. De La Fuente looking to make some space. McIntyre does well to pick that up with his shoelaces. There's a little bit of space now for Luca Dubois. Lays it back. Ecoshire has it once more. The scrum half feeding. In drives Brazo. Sobello. McIntyre gets his mitts on it once more. Dubois working hard as well. Oh, and there's a knock on, but it may have been an offside. The referee bringing him back. Un bleu qui tire vers le bas sur la mêlée. Well, he's bringing them back all the way to the scrummage. Jorgi Beria, the man penalised. What using his hands? On y va, allez. Vous me dites qu'on s'arrête le trou, mais on met du temps aussi. Allez, on y va. So McIntyre with the chance to find touch once more to put a bit more pressure back on this Claremont defence. Perpignan will be knocking at the door for the first half an hour. Haven't made it through yet. Such an important, uh, an important game for this. They've only got one more home game. Perpignan. Come back to that in a minute because they've taken that really well. This is a good maul. Lamb has the ball. Tucked under his arm. They're only uh, 10 metres or so out. Going on the short side. It's messy. It's gone forward. And Clermont. <laughs> quickly, quickly away. And that is quite a clearance to superb work from Anthony Bello. Really gave that a bit of heave, ho. Even with the strapping on that wrist. That will be a problem, although they've got a fairly handy replacement in uh, Benjamin Udapileta if Bello can't continue in the second half. That was a great kick, though. Oh dear. Once again, Perpignan give away line out possession. That's not good. Yato drives forward, makes a few meters. Jono looks for a way through. Bello. Dari Carrère. Oh, popped up, turned over. Perpignan. Oh, a little chip and chase. I think that's a knock on, though. Jono is taken out. Allez, on y va. On y va. just checking. What was going on there? It's ambitious play. We like ambition. Doesn't always work, but uh, the thought is very good. It was Dubois, indeed, with the little tap forward as he tried to collect. So just eight minutes remaining before half time, and uh, I'm uh, somewhat surprised that we haven't had any tries yet. This game had tries written all over it, but uh, as yet, none. Just 3-3, a penalty each. Spaces will appear, I'm sure of that. It's a little bit slow getting this one sorted. Actually, 
that, just one Pepignon tackle missed. Number 16. Interesting thing, statistics, they don't tell the whole story. The only one that matters is that one that says 3-3. And I suppose the clock. Well, that's not really a statistic, is it? Clermont, get away. Looking for a way through is Yerim Fal, the 20-year-old. In goes Beria, driven back. Slimani goes. Tight head prop. Jono feeds. Derek Herrera looking for a way through. Held up. And holding on. I think that's uh, against Yerim Fal going over the top. And Perpignan straight into the action. Sobello. Was that a little knock on? It was. It's an advantage for uh, Clermont. Bello. Oh dear, knocked on again, that's time Newsom. So uh, one or two handling errors coming in and uh, spoiling things. And uh, we have a man down, and this is never a good sign. You lose the possession, you lose the ball with the feet, but not with the hands, so it's in front. You lose the control of the ball, and it's in front. It's the rule. You can look at it, it's the rule. Jeremy Rosier, I don't think he's quite... Quite got to grips with this one. Comes over now for a for a check. Asking whether it's a concussion. So calling for the uh, stretcher. In all the action, I didn't know. Oh, well, <laughs> he's, he's keen to get on. There he is, Yato. Well, we don't see the incident, I don't think. But he's off to the touchline. He's able to walk, that's good. We like that. But he will need to, I think. I think he's going to be. Have to go off for a concussion check. Well, he's staying on the field, and really, this shouldn't actually be his choice. On team Emery is waiting to come on. It shouldn't even be a discussion. This he was down, they were worried, holding his neck. The, the, the player should not be involved in this. He should be off. This is poor. I have no idea why rugby takes chances with head injuries. Paselli Yato remains on the field, shaking his head. He was down for a couple of minutes. That's where he took it. It's a bit difficult to see from those images just quite what happened. The scrummage collapses, but the ball is back for Juno to Bello. Erito feeding outside him. But it's uh, come back on the uh, Pepignon side for Veridanu. But again, it's turned over. Yato, Yato collects. Jurong tries to get away from it. It's a little bit messy at the moment. Penalty being awarded to Clermont. Pardon? Okay. Offside and a knock on. Take your pick, lads. Into touch she flies. 
And this, just before half time, is a terrific opportunity for Claremont to snatch the lead. It was very Damu, who was uh, on the wrong side and interfered with the play. Oh, it's untidy in a way. Compare Pignon with Lamb. No, no. Was that a little knock on? Nope. The referee says it was a Claremont player trying to get his mitts on the ball. Didn't do it. Again, it's uh, it's untidy in the uh, in the mall. McIntyre fires the ball upfield. Remember. Pepin, you're not playing into the wind in this first half. It's not a huge wind, but uh, still helpful nonetheless. Now, is there a little break here for Yerim Fall? Oh, this is lovely work from the 20-year-old. He's taken down just before the 22. and Clinging on, gives away the penalty. Tomé Cochard with some good defensive work. Yerim Fall, just 20 years old, started uh, with Massey just outside Paris and to Claremont in 2022 in his debut in November against Toulouse. But a France under 20 player and certainly another young buck to watch in the years to come. Yerim Fall. Okay. So Lamb goes long. McIntyre moving the ball swiftly. Where's Veridamu? He's there. Oh, my word. Veridamu bounces off Newsom, sets the ball up for Luca Dubois to go through. And this one will count. After Veridamu's earlier effort was counted out, this is the first try of the game for Pepignon, and it's come just a couple of breaths before half-time, and it's no more than they deserved. They lead by eight points to three. But what a superb piece of work. What a buffet from uh, Veridamu. Absolutely took out poor old Alex Newsom who's uh, made some good tackles and there's no shirker in the tackling department. Look at the way Veridamu collects here, runs into Newsom. The fullback is sent into space. Veridamu pops the ball back inside and Luca Dubois is through for his fourth try of the season. That's great stuff from Perpignan. <laughs> My word. <laughs> you don't want to be wearing Veridamu. Well, Frank Azema and David Marti enjoyed that. I think all of Catalonia enjoyed that. The noise level has risen once more with that first try. McIntyre converts. And that puts uh, Perpignan ahead as we approach the break by 10 points to three. Well, it's good. The, the game needed a try. It was. It had been threatening a try uh, for the whole of that first half. It just hadn't quite uh, come to fruition, but that was a super piece of work. A little bit of time left in this first half. Anthony Bello gets things moving. Straight into touch. Dubois takes it, and that is indeed half-time at the Stade Aimé Giral. It's only 10-3 to Perpignan against Clermont, but it's been a cracking first half. Lots of effort, lots of excitement. Ah, one or two missed opportunities. All played the backdrop of uh, the Catalonian sunshine, the Mediterranean, you can smell it through the microphone. Well, a chance to uh, just draw breath for a few minutes, have a cold drink. Anthony Bello, Anthony Bello has got to say. Elle fait mal cette dernière action. Vous êtes quand même dans le match, Anthony. Ouais, non, on est, on est bien dans le match. On est bien rentré. We're certainly in the match. 
À mon avis, on est un peu trop, un peu trop de déchets, que ce soit en attaque ou en défense, des plaquages manqués. On arrive We pas missed à tenir a few les tackles in defense. We've looked decent in attack. Des petits ballons tombés sur les offloads, des touches pas bien négociées. One or two balls that have gone to ground. Il faut qu'on reste solidaire et ça va, ça va. Touch kicks that we've missed out on, but we're still in this match. Tom, deuxième période. Tom, bon, ça a fini par s'ouvrir. Vous avez quand même globalement dominé cette première période. Faute de concrétisation quand même. Dominated most of the. Sur ces 40 premières minutes. Il n'y a pas Most de la concrétisation, time, but, uh, parce que dans les rucks, on est, on est secoué. On a du mal à sortir des ballons propres, donc, euh, donc on fait tout dans la précipitation et on a beaucoup de déchets. We, we, missed, uh, we missed out on a few uh, clean balls. Mais malheureusement, quand on a du déchet comme ça et que dans les rucks, c'est compliqué, on perd trop de ballons, c'est difficile. And uh, we've just made things a little bit complicated for ourselves, not giving ourselves a clean delivery from uh, rucks and balls, and that has... Uh, Confuse matters slightly for us. But uh, there we go. Half time. Perpignan lead by 10 points to three. That try from Dubois right before the whistle. Uh, the difference between the sides uh, with McIntyre and Bello having uh, scored penalties earlier on. Perpignan edging possession. And uh, yes, they've certainly played more uh, in the uh, visitors' territory as you would expect. Welcome back. Welcome back to the Stade Emmet Giral. Okay. Breathless first half. Just one try in it. It was a corker. The ball swung out to uh, Veridamu. Oh, the bulldozer driving into Alex Newsom. Lovely pass over the top inside for Luca Dubois. And there it is. That got the home fans going just before half time. It had been a a cracking contest up until then. Both sides had plenty of opportunities, and uh, <laughs> interestingly, I was just uh, just in my uh, my moments off. I was chatting with some French colleagues who shrugged at me when I said it would be in a cracking first half, and said, "You Britanniques, you 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 find pleasure in all these uh, things. No tries." No, it, the, the darn thing was, it was it was a very open first half. Plenty of opportunities for both sides. One or two errors, though, just seeing both of them fall at the final hurdle. But uh, I think Pinheiro is back for a second half, which is going to be more of the same, I think. I don't see either side trying to close it up. Anthony Bello, just before half-time, said they were very much in the game. Check this out. Oh, Alex Newsome, you poor old thing. Tavite Veridamu. Played for Clermont for, uh, four games in the uh, 2021 season. And uh, just reminding them what they've missed out on since. Thought he had scored his 12th try of the season earlier on in the first half. But it was ruled out. He didn't quite get it down. He dropped the ball just as he was going for the uh, to touch it down. So he had his ruled out. But a uh, great piece of work to set up that try for Luca Dubois who uh, has now got four this season, so he's not doing too badly either on the other wing. Papignon edging that first half. They uh, they could easily have had a couple of other tries. Clermont had one or two opportunities, didn't take them. But uh, both sides will come out in the second half feeling that uh, they've got a good chance of winning this one. Beautiful day down in Catalonia. Lovely sunshine which we've been missing for a, a long time now. That warmth, the temperature has crept up to 28 degrees. There's a little bit of a breeze which uh, Pepignon were playing into in the first half, so we'll have that on their back. As they look to make it six wins on the bounce, and they're looking for a place in the top six. And uh, at the start of this match, they had 53 points. So just two points behind uh, Toulon, who are sixth. 
and uh, La Rochelle fifth. They had 55 points. Racing, who were in fourth, have 56 points. So just three points behind Racing, and uh, even more than that, four points behind Bordeaux Begle, who are third. So a win for Perpignan, should it come to pass, would put them level on points with uh, Bordeaux. Unless, of course, they can pick up a bonus point, in which case they would, at least for a few hours, go third in the table, which would be a remarkable turnaround in their fortunes because uh, they lost four of their first five matches this season. They lost their first two home matches of the season against Stade Francais and Poe. But uh, since that uh, defeat against Poe on October the 29th, they've won every match at home and they've picked up a few points on the road as well. And they've given themselves a great chance of reaching the top six. And they really would be a surprise package because uh, the last couple of seasons, they have finished 13th and uh, been forced to play the uh, the barrage, the, uh, the relegation promotion playoff against the team finishing second in the second division. So, uh, yep, their eyes certainly on a different prize this season. Got some, uh, some. Win. They've got. They can get some points. They they playing at Bayonne next week, which is never going to be easy. The Catalans travelling to the Basque Country. Then they are home against uh, Bordeaux in round 25, and then final round 26. They travel to Po. None of them. None of those those matches is a gimme. But uh, when you get to the wind in your sails, as this Pepignon side has done over the last couple of months, then you begin to believe you can win anywhere. Which is largely what uh, the players have been saying, what the uh, supporters have been saying. They're beginning to believe that they can do this. Still a long way to go. The first objective for them is to win today, obviously. The next objective is to finish in the top six. Then it gets complicated. So that looks like uh, on team Emery is on, presumably, for Peseli Yato, who took that shot to the head in the first half and didn't go off. Ooh, big tackle, stray from the start, from uh, Luca Dubois. That's Clement. In there. Pegged in their own half, in their own uh, 22. So Emery coming on for Yato, confirmed. Dupichot looks outside for Dubois. He's been busy, Dubois, today. To Ilagi, skips through one tackle, can't get through the second. Lays the ball back well, though. Sabello, Ekoshar, McIntyre, quick hands from... Uh, uh, comes off the referee. But says he didn't, uh, didn't influence it. Well, he's given the... Uh, he's given the scrummage. I'm not quite sure why Tom Eckershard really needs a lengthy discussion and debate. He's given them the scrummage. Paselli Yato looking a little nonplussed on the bench. has the ball in hand. Squeeze on, good work. Oh, it's untidy at the back and it's uh, kicked through by uh, Kramer. And this is a problem. McIntyre is back in defence. He's on his own. He's been scragged by Jono. 
Oh, this is difficult times for uh, Perpignan, but I think they managed to uh, rescue the situation. Ecoshar has it. McIntyre did very well then. Ecoshar opting for the touchline and a chance to uh, just uh, just reslate. Emergency work from uh, McIntyre. Did really well, stayed on his feet well, stayed strong in the tackle. Was able to lay the ball back. But Clermont have it. That's a good take in the middle. And forward they come with uh, Darry Carrière. Berrier driving in. Looks as though uh, Etienne Fourcade may be on. Replacement hooker. Oh dear, that one's gone to ground now. And now the chase is going on at the other end. And this is really dangerous for Clermont. The chase is on. Oh, that's superbly done by Fowl. But is he going to be able to? Oh, he's done well. He got back up onto his feet. But the penalty's been given against him. Tough one. Ecosha takes it quickly. McIntyre. Oh, he gets a touchdown. Second try for Perpignan. Just going to check it, but I think that is the second try, and it's Jake McIntyre with the finish. Well, he's just looking now as a, a penalty against Luca Desaigne. Well, this is the uh, this is the try. It's on the line, and that for me is a try. Oh, did his body slide out? I think you need the front view. Was his body grounded as he touched the ball down? I think he's airborne. He's in the air. I think okay. that's that's going to count. I think. Okay, avec ça sur image, on voit que l'essai est aplati avant qu'il sorte en touche. Donc c'est essai. Okay, très bien. The try is awarded, and Perpignan suddenly have a little bit of daylight. It was a great kick and chase. The problem here, fouled it really well, got back quickly, didn't release straight away got back up on his feet. He was penalised. Quick hands. McIntyre just squeezing in at the corner. Well played. That little shimmy, and McIntyre will have enjoyed that. Getting the better of Alex Newsom, his fellow Australian. McIntyre gets the opportunity to add another two points. Slides across the face. Not this time. But even so, Perpignan Looking good now, leading Clermont by 15 points to three. Chris! Chris! Chris, c'est toi! So Anthony Bello gets uh, the game moving once again. Little knock on from uh, Veridamu. So Clermont already with an advantage in the 22. Can they breach the Perpignan line for the first time this afternoon? Little pop pass from Erito. Dink through from Bello. That's going to go into touch. Back they come. Well, it's Lotrian who's been penalised for being offside as well. So it wasn't just the knock-on. Sasha Lotrian who will join Clermont at the end of this season is the man penalised. 
Quite a few girls, four players with uh, Claremont connections in the Perpignan lineup. Very dumb who had uh, a few games for them. Uh, Apisal Nakalevu, who we will see a little bit later, played for uh, Claremont as well, had uh, five seasons with Claremont Nakalevu. And McIntyre as well, also had one season, the 2019-20 season, the COVID season. Scored 104 points, 105 points for them in all uh, competitions. But uh, yeah, COVID struck. He went home, and that was the end of his Claremont days. So the penalty for Claremont, Anthony Bello, teeing it up, just trying to get some points on the board. I think get the uh, get the ball rolling once again in the second half. Leaving it late. <laughs> Through she goes. And Clermont are up and running in this second half. They trail by 15 points to six. Arrêt du temps. Changement. Now the uh, replacements begin in earnest. Tommaso Allen making his way on in place of try scorer Luca Dubois, I think. Knock on. Well, in fact, there's uh, obstruction going on. And that is a penalty for Perpignan and a chance, if they are so inclined, to grab those three points back again. Rabba Slimani looking perplexed. Slimani had his back to the action, was a ball watching a little bit. Being a little bit bosey on that occasion, it's, it may have cost them three points as McIntyre gets to set up the penalty to restore that, that lead, put it back to 12 points. Crowd like it, the touch judges like it. Three points onto the total. Perpignan lead by 18 points to six. Oh, was that a little knock on? Now it's uh, collected by Veridamu. Clinging on in that. Yeah. Coming back for the knock on anyway. Team memory getting stuck into the action early on. Wearing 18. Playing in that number eight position. Flexion. Settle. Echochard with the put in. McIntyre. Running straight at his man, his opposite number. Placage, Manon! Bello. Non, bleu, bleu, sortez. A little bit clogged up there, the uh, Perpignan attack, but looking to come around the corner. Looking to expose uh, the space 
out wide. They've got the runners. They've got very Damu. And now uh, Tommaso Allen. Let's see where uh, uh, Allen may have gone to full back. So it'll be Dupi Show. But that's Newsom. Oh, he's run into his own man, uh, Julian Erito. Accidental offside, and off goes Ekoshar again. He does like to uh, get things moving quickly. Lotrian takes the ball on. Lays it back. Ekoshar once more. McIntyre. Duigavalu. Unable to make much progress, but lays the ball back once again. McIntyre feeds. Little dink through. Can someone get on the end of this? Very Damu does. Lays it back for Sobello. Sobello flips it back in field. Ekoshar is scragged as a knock on. Maybe an earlier knock on from a Claremont hand. Ignacio Ruiz making his way onto the field. Yet another Argentine. Got a few of them playing in this match. He'll join uh, Joaquin Oviedo on his own team and uh, Geronimo de la Fuente. And of course, on the other side, you've got Marcos Kramer. I think the Argentines quite like it down south. Reprise du temps. On y va? Ruiz is bon. quite the poacher as well. He's, uh, he's done well. He's scored five tries already this season. Marvin Ori, incidentally, also on the field. World Cup winning Springbok. Missed South Africa's tour of glory after winning the World Cup in Paris. He decided to go not to go back to South Africa for the... Uh, for the circuit, for the open top bus. He went straight to Bear Pignon. His new club, having arrived from the Stormers, got stuck in straight away. No, no, no. Arrête du temps. Messieurs, no, il faut plus de distance. Vous, après, vous le tirez. Donc, no, et vous, on rentre. D'accord? Plus de distance, parce que lui, lui, il prend pas l'impact, mais vous n'impactez pas trop. Allez. Là, plus de distance, on est déjà engagé les deux côtés. Allez. Oui, mais distance d'abord. Perpignan lead by 18 points to six. A good value for it as well. Flexion! But still, over 25, 27 minutes left in this game. Plenty of time for Clermont to stage a recovery. Echo Shah collects. McIntyre flips the ball outside for Very Dharma, who breaks the first tackle, takes two, three tacklers more, opening up gaps. Ori has the ball, lays it back. Ekoshar feeding wide for uh, McIntyre, looks for the pop pass, goes on his own. He's driven forward by his teammates. In goes uh, Oviedo. Perpignan into the 22, the danger zone for uh, Clermont. To Ilagi. No, 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 Held up this time. Echo Shah trying to get his hands on it. Is somebody preventing the ball from coming out? They are indeed. And it's going to be Thibaut Lannan, who is penalised. He was sitting on the ground, using his hands. And the referee, quick to give the penalty. And Geronimo de la Fuente. Points at the posts. We'll take the three, please. Oui. So slowly but surely, Perpignan are taking a firm grip of this game as Patrick Sobello makes his way off the field. He's had a good game, Sobello. The arrival from Lyon this season playing his 22nd game this campaign. So uh, 22 out of 23, not too shabby. Sutala Fassor is the man replacing him. Another new recruit this season, came from London Irish. Three points go on the board. 
Tommaso Allen has taken over the kicking duties. 21 points to six is the lead. More changes afoot. Oh, they're coming from all sides now. Benjamin Uda Paletta is the man with his hands on the ball now, who has just come on. Such an experienced Argentine. I, I missed him out when I was mentioning the Argentinians playing in this game. 38 years old now. Benjamin Uda Paletta, he's just signed a new contract to play next year for uh, Clermont. Of course, for many years he was at uh, Castres. But, uh, looking to play one more year, at least one more year. Plenty of fire in his belly. We see it every time he uh, takes the ground. Jamalashvili into the front row in place of Rava Slimani. Etienne Fourcade goes short for uh, Jamalashvili. Uda Pileta. In goes uh, Darry Carrer. No. Yeah, so back in the action, it seems, in spite of that head knock. Little knock on. Now into space. Where's this going? Oh, it's well collected by McIntyre. Pops the ball back inside. What a Paletta intercepts. Darry Carrere boots it upfield. Oh, no. I want to have a look at that. Bello was flattened there. He's taken a few knocks, Anthony Bello. The referee may have a look at this. Christoph Urios seldom breaks into a smile. That is his normal uh, posture. Is usual look, so it's very difficult to read as to whether he's happy or miserable. He doesn't change an awful lot. C'est bon, Eric, sûr. Tu veux que je contrôle ça ou pas? That was the good pick up by uh, McIntyre. The ball went forward there from the uh, pass. Appel vidéo. Je vais contrôler le, s'il te plaît. Le potentiel contact à la tête sur le 10 uh, yeah, bloc. This is the, uh, they're going to have a look at this. Tackle now on Bello. Je veux, ju je veux juste en fait voir s'il y a contact à la tête déjà, s'il te plaît. Just checking if there was uh, head contact. He was sandwiched, it was nasty. Was the uh, that was the real time speed very difficult to tell you can hear that voice I would suggest that is high 
Là, ok, le premier pour moi, c'est ok, c'est sur l'épaule. Et c'est le deuxième dont j'ai besoin. Là, ici, vas-y, sur le, du 7 bleu sur le 10. First one he's saying is shoulder. Le premier contact pour moi, c'est bon. Mais je veux voir, voilà, exactement. He wants to look at the second one from number seven, Alan Brazo. Là, pour moi, c'est sur l'épaule. Et là, ici, là, est-ce qu'on est d'accord pour toi que tu vois l'épaule dans la tête du 10 bleu Is that the shoulder into the face of the number 10? And and of course, the thing is, it's very difficult because there's nothing that Brazo could do at that point because Bello has already committed and he's already been in the first tackle. So so it was more head to shoulder than shoulder to head, I'd say. But bloke makes up the rules. Degré de, donc c'est un jeu déloyal parce que le 7 est toujours debout. Le danger est élevé parce qu'il y a de la vitesse. Néanmoins, c'est de là du fait du premier placard que le, a que le bit 10 right. bleu se rapproche du 7 euh, bleu ciel. Donc je serai sur carton jaune contre le 7 Perpignan. Well, he's going to give a yellow card here, which I think is a bit tough on old uh, Brazo, but uh, épaule dans la tête du 7. Those the rules. Par contre, comme il l'envoie. C'est pas totalement sa responsabilité, donc ça sera simplement carton jaune. Yeah, he said it's not entirely his fault, so it's only going to be a yellow card. Otherwise, it'll be a red card. Oh, I think that's a bit of a tough one on Brazo. His first yellow card of the season. But uh, you've got to get in low. That's the thing. C'est pour ça que c'est pas rouge, que c'est simplement jaune. Non, monsieur, non, capitaine, j'ai pas besoin. Non, 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 non. À quel endroit, s'il te plaît? So, Perpignan, down to 14 men for the next 10 minutes. And a necessary change on the uh, Clermont side. This is Anthony Bello making his way off. And Matisse Bello, wearing number 22, it takes the field for the first time at senior level. So, uh, welcome to the big time, Matisse. Nineteen-year-old France under-20 player. Future looks rosy for Clermont when they've got this many young players on the field. That's a good steal. Now Clermont. Marinori is uh, on the floor at the moment. It's up now. Round the corner they come. It's still there. Clermont. Getting up ahead of steam. Jono looking for uh, looking for the ball, looking to get it out. It's, uh, it's with Jamanishvili. Jono feeding wide. Oh, it's going to be a try. They're through. Terrific work. And it's uh, Leon Davy Carrera who brings Clermont back into this game. It looked a bit scrappy at the back of the ruck, but they managed to break through the defence. And my apologies, Matisse Belobre has been given the try. His first try at senior level in his senior level debut. So Clermont pulling their uh, way back into this game. They do have this one-man advantage. The ball fed out. Oh, in fact, I was right at the start. It was Leon Dari Carrere who got the touchdown. It was Belobre who put him through. Uda Piletta is able to uh, tee up the conversion. Through it goes. Have another look at it. It's nearly done. There's the uh, the new man, Bell Obra, with the feed. And Leon Darry Carrere coming through, crashing through. For his second try of the season. Well, that's uh, brought.
Clermont back into the game. They trail by 21 points to 13, so just eight points in it now. Still 20 minutes remaining in this match. Clermont can steal this. More changes. Nakalevu replacing Ali Baretti, Dewey Gavalu. Nakalevu. Uh, was a Claremont player between 2018 and 2023. Played 73 matches for them, scored 18 tries. Now finds himself on the opposite side. Well, a scrummage not functioning quite right there. Flexion. Give it another go. Lié. Still can't get it right. A little free kick, a little shunt on the Echo Shah from Marcos Kramer. Downfield they go. McIntyre. Pings it back upfield. That's a really good uh, piece of work by Jake McIntyre. Teo Giral in two minds about what to do there. Did nothing. And it's worked out against him. Clermont come again. They're a little bit invigorated now with Uda Paletta pulling the strings. They got some fresh legs. Remember, they played last. Oh, this is a good break from Yato. Jono. Yarim Fal. Jono again looking to uh, get the ball out. It's there. Yato scoops it back for Uda Paletta. There's the long pass. New boy Belobra dives in. The whistle goes though, and that is against the home side. The whistle's raining around the ground now. Offside, says the ref. And Clermont are on their way back. They trail by eight points at the moment. Urda Piletta looking to put them in a really strong attacking position. Is on. Clermont can sniff the line. They're going over, and is that a second try for the visitors? I think it is. That's a second try for Clermont, and they are right back in this game.
Jorge Shmanashvili. It came from the line out. It was well taken by Emery. And watch just on the short side. Through came, uh, in fact, it was Jorgi Beria. Who collects the try. And suddenly, Things not looking quite so rosy for Perpignan. Their lead effectively wiped out. Oh, the Paletta makes no. Oh, he's hit the heat. I was going to say, he makes no mistake. He did make a mistake. Crunch the post. So 21 points to 18. Perpignan lead. Clermont. Three points in it. A little bit of anxiety now on the face of David Marti and uh, Frank Azema. They were looking relatively comfortable at 21 6. That yellow card for Brazo has cost them two tries. Cost them 12 points. And Clermont have the bit between their teeth. Still another 15 minutes remaining. What can they do? Well, the crowd is uh, lively. The Perpignan uh, supporters trying to get a bit more noise going. See their team home in these uh, this difficult last quarter. Gerin Fowl took a little bit of a knock there. It's been a, a, an attritional day. That's uh, Anthony Bello in the stand. He took a few, a few wounds along the way. So Pepignon with uh, one more play, perhaps, with 14 men, and then they will back up to uh, their full roster. They just lost the uh, the impetus completely. There's Alan Brazo waiting to come back. Lié. Shot. Oh, that's a good drive by the uh, Perpignan pack. It's untidy though. Knock on, says the ref, so it will be a clam on ball. But uh, in the meantime, Belobre looks to uh, play it out from defence. Uda Pileta, where's he go? Oh, that's an untidy pass from the Argentinian. They got away with it to an extent. The boot, uh, at least they got a little grubber kick from it. But uh, Uda Pileta just raising his hand to acknowledge. Dari Carrera did well to get that out. Sabello returns. Well, World Rugby talking about the various changes they are planning to introduce or experiment with. One of them might be that once a, a player has gone off, he can't return again. Because it's uh, it's a bit of a nonsense the whole rolling substitute system. Faso drives in. Pepignon, can they get their act together? 
and breathe again. Nakalevu got the ball that is a chip through and it's a try for Veridamu. Tavite Veridamu won the chase after the little dink through. That's his 12th try of the season. He was denied in the first half, but I think that one is good. And Veridamu gives Perpignan the perfect riposte after conceding those two quick tries. This was the charge, the little dink through, the chase was on. And Veridamu gets there first. He's so quick, so strong, bullied his way onto that. And Perpignan, 26-18 in front. Tommaso Allen hasn't played for a couple of months. He's been out injured. Of course, left the uh, Italy squad at the start of the Six Nations. Sounds as though there may have been a little difference of opinion between himself and Gonzalo Quesada. But he's on target here, and Perpignan open up a 10-point lead. Twenty-eight points to eighteen. Oda Piletta gets things rolling once more. So Bello feeds McIntyre. McIntyre has looked lively all game. He's a, he really has been very impressive, Jake McIntyre. Well, Dougal Lavalle has only just gone off and he's back on again for uh, De La Fuente. Clermont have the line out. Oh dear, that's gone uh, badly wrong, but Uda Piletta may just have made something out of this. Oh, he's not back in the tackle, but Yato is there. Yato laying it on. Now they're just a metre or so from the line. Yato is back in attendance. Oh, was that a little knock on from uh, Foucard? The penalty's been given. Oh, it's going to be another yellow. Well, well, well. This could be the game changer. Not sure who's got it. Was it Ekush? No, it's uh, Jake McIntyre, I think, who's been yellow carded. Well, that is a, a big one, presumably for a professional fan. Is it McIntyre? Uh, your guess is as good as mine at the moment. But Perpignan back to 14 men. If they're going to do this, they're doing it the hard way, Perpignan. The penalty. The penalty is there for uh, Claremont. It's Ruiz. Excuse me. Well, that wasn't clear at the time. But here come Claremont. Just a metre out. A little show from uh, Jono. Yato not able to get it back. It pops up. Not gone forward. It's still there for Claremont. The feed is on and over they go. There is the try. So Clermont back in the game once again with their third try. Etienne Fourcart, the replacement hooker, the man going over. His second try of the season. Making it from close range. So this, this game, it really did struggle. We, we went 39 minutes without a try and suddenly we got a hat full. Four card finishing off really well from close range. Well, it doesn't... Uh, it doesn't take brilliance to notice the, the three tries Pepignon have conceded. 
have come when they've been down to 14 men. Given well, that's how things are going to be for uh, pretty much the rest of this match. I think you might put a little bit of money on Claremont if you were a betting person to sneak this one. We will see. The uh, conversion is good. So the gap now back to just those three points. Perpignan 28, Clermont 25. Five tries in this second half. Mathieu Tongi returns. Posolo to Ilago. To Ilagi makes his way off. Presumably we won't see Posolo coming back on again, but you never know. McIntyre gets the game rolling once again. Oh, that's a big hit from Tongi inside the uh, Claremont. 22. They've got real work to do. The up and under, well collected by uh, Allen. Where's the ball? Six and a half minutes remaining. Three points in it. That's too long for Claire, uh, for Pepignon just to play the pick and go for the next uh, six minutes. Not sure that's going to happen. Over the top they go instead. They want to uh, see if they can put some pressure on uh, Claremont. Perhaps even get another try. Keep the ball down their end. Allen drills the ball long. Back into the 22. It's nice, nice little bit of little bit of kickback though. Falls nicely for uh, Joris Girond, and the ball sent back all the way down the other end for uh, Dupi Show. No. Uda Piletta also follows up with the boot. Oh, it's a great take this time by uh, Jono and he's going to score and this could be a match winning score from uh, the scrum half Baptiste Jono. The 20 year old collects his fourth try of the season. Super piece of individual opportunism. Clermont are in front for the first time in this match. And the travelling supporters are enjoying themselves. They've been on the receiving end. They were trailing 21 points to six not so long ago. This was the kick from Oda Piletta. And watch Jono. Terrific take. McIntyre hasn't got the wheels to keep up with him or take him down. Okay, d'accord. Jono has time to just pluck the ball out of the hands of Echo Shah, his opposite number. Well, well, well. Clermont. Now lead. 30 points to 28. Uda Piletta taking his time on this. It's a, this. This is about as straightforward as it comes. He's leaving it right till the last moment to chew up a bit of time on the clock. Through it goes. And from nowhere, Clermont lead by 32 points to 28. They have a four-point advantage. Pepignon must score another try if they are to win this match. They must do it with 14 men. 
collection from uh, Theo Giral. And again, Clermont just looking to peg Perpignan back in their own half. Tommaso Allen goes. He's on his own. He's uh, really isolated there. Perpignan, in fact, do quite well to uh, get back and retrieve the situation. McIntyre uh, doing the work. Echo Shah will be annoyed at that lapse that gave away the try. Can he make up for it? He's got three minutes. Sends the ball high. It's going to come down. Oh, and it's uh, come down nicely for uh, Giral, in fact. Yerim Fall looks to get his skates on. Clermont finishing this game well. Always helps when you got that man advantage. Two yellow cards for Perpignan in the second half has really worked against them. Yato puts the ball down, but it went behind him. Collected by Belob. Jono feeding uh, Kremer. And Clermont are into the 22. They're putting pressure on Perpignan, whose five-match winning streak looks to be coming to an end. Clermont have won the last four matches between these sides. They're going to make it five. They're driving on. They look the more likely scorers at the moment. The big men taking the ball on. Oh, they've given away the penalty, though. And there's going to be a little look at the screen. Could be danger for Clermont. Well, it's a question of uh, Pasiliato. Whether he gave the tackle or whether he was tackled, the challenge on him couldn't quite work out. So, let's just see crowd not liking it I'm guessing they're looking at an illegal tackle a possible illegal tackle on uh, Yato here it is oh that was a bit upright Yato going down like a felled tree there and that I think may be a little bit of a problem is that uh, Cacciarelli? No. Akalevu. Contact head to head. Another yellow card. And this is really... Well, it's not good, is it? If you're a Perpignan supporter. So it's Nakalevu. Same way as Brazo had to go. Nakalevu is going to go as well. So three yellow cards in the second half. You, you simply cannot. You cannot live with that at this level. Nakalevu goes. He has to. The former Claremont player, yellow carded against his old club. And that, I think, probably puts paid to Perpignan's hopes of winning this match and moving up to third in the table, temporarily at least. <laughs> well, they're going to go for goal. For no other reason, I suspect, than that the uh, the shot clock is on. It'll chew up time. Uda Paletta will use all the time he's got. And that will leave virtually nothing. Whether he scores or misses, this is curtains for Perpignan. Well, a disappointment for the home side. They looked so good at 21-6 ahead. And even when... Uh, Beridamu scored and they moved 28-18 ahead. It looked as though they were back in control. But those yellow cards, you simply cannot play with three yellow cards during the game. Urda Pileta, the final 
action of the match, perhaps. It's straight through the middle. Urda Pileta drives the nail into the Pepignon coffin. 35 points to 28. Clermont lead Perpignan. This is a great recovery from the visitors. Real disappointment from the home side. Well, a converted try would be a draw. So they've still got a hope. 15 seconds remaining on the clock. But it has to be a try and it has to be converted. And that's just to get the draw. They cannot win this match. Can the powder blue shirts produce something special in these last moments? McIntyre has been outstanding today. Echo Shark feeds. A little pop pass. It's there for... Uh, no, 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 Lima. The four is looking to do their work. Echo Shark feeds once again for McIntyre. In goes Chucky. Where are they going to... Oh, that looked forward to me. Referee says it's OK. The ball comes back in play. Can they keep it going? They have kept it alive nicely. Chucky again. Uh, sorry, uh, Ketcherelli. McIntyre, Tommaso Allen. Now, is there a bit of space for Dupichot? No, there isn't. It has to bring it back in. Echo Shah. It's a flat, tight defence from Clermont. What can the home side do? Ori looks to go on his own. He's still... Uh, the ball flipped out of his hands. Where's that come? It's come back on the Clermont side, I think. This is going to be the end of the game. It's come back. Out it goes. And Theo Giral pops the ball into touch. And that is a spectacular win for Clermont against Pepignon. They were trailing by 21 points to six early in the second half. They have come back to win this match by 35 points to 28. They've dented Perpignan's hopes of a place in the top six, but what a win for Clermont. Remarkable. The crowd don't like it at all. Half-time, remember, Perpignan were leading by 10 points to three. That's a tremendous four-try second half from Claremont. I did say in the first half they were known back in the day as a second-half team, one that stayed in touch and then hit hard in the last uh, quarter, and they've done exactly that. They've rolled back the years. Outstanding performance. Well, they can whistle as much as they like. But that was a very merited win in the end. Three yellow cards. You simply cannot, cannot give away three yellow cards. In that second half, they played 30 minutes, 30 out of 40 minutes with the, effectively with 14 men. Good contest. Cracking game of rugby. In some senses, it was a slow burner because we didn't get that first try until the 39th minute. But then uh, that was the first of seven. Action-packed second half. And uh, I think Clermont Allez, are kicking Alan? themselves a little bit. Pinching bon. themselves, I should say, not kicking themselves. Alan, Perpignan will be kicking themselves. Que... It's tough. Il y avait quelque chose à faire cet après-midi, que c'est un coup d'arrêt parce que vous avez beaucoup gagné dernièrement ici. Comment vous euh, bah, vivez cette défaite, tout simplement Ouais, c'est contre-performance, ah, euh, on a été beaucoup trop indiscipliné, surtout en deuxième mi-temps, et on n'a pas concrétisé nos we moments forts. So discipline in the second half, we didn't, uh, c est, c est dommage, we didn't cement our position, le plus dur make the most of our chances. Voilà, après, euh, on a joué à la fin euh, en infériorité numérique aussi, je pense que... Voilà, we, had, uh, we were obviously uh, down on numbers, aussi. we had the et disadvantage en, there. En général, je dirais l'indiscipline, quoi, euh, c'est vraiment dommage. C'est vrai que la lecture du match, elle est assez simple parce que vous prenez les quatre the, uh, in discipline in the end, of course, 15. he himself was yellow carded. He was the first of three yellow cards si in the second half. Vous avez été secoué en première mi-temps, mais c'est vraiment ces cartons qui vous coûtent la victoire ce soir. Oui, oui, oui. Alors, est-ce qu'on a... Is it the cards that cost you? Yes. Is it the cards that cost you? Yes. On va le, on va l'analyser. Yeah, it's very physical at the end of the match. We're going to have to go and analyse it. L'impression que j'ai, c'est qu'on prend des essais quand même assez faciles. 
facilement et bon, c'est dommage. Il y a l'occasion aujourd'hui d'assurer définitivement le, le maintien en, en cas de victoire. L'occasion de rêver aussi peut-être à, à plus haut, mais il reste quand même trois matchs pour, euh, bah pourquoi pas, We've still got une, three une matches. saison euh, sympa quand même. Can you uh, still oui, make, the, make a good end of season Rien n'est dans, dans les deux sens. Donc euh, dès, dès yeah, demain, a, on va récupérer, dès lundi, on va se mettre en Comme tu as dit, trois matchs importants. But now we've got uh, three important matches still remaining. Allez, est-ce qu'on peut enchaîner avec Baptiste Baptiste Jono. Attention, oh. oh Almost taken out by the advertising hoardings. Careful, chaps. Allez, on y va. Essayez de ne pas se faire assommer. Bon, Baptiste, c'est euh, un très gros coup. Et c'était pas gagné, en plus. Non, c'était pas gagné. Première mi-temps, on s'est un, un peu mélangé les pinceaux. Après, on savait très bien, ici, arrivé à Perpignan, ils étaient sur une très, très bonne dynamique. It was a tough one. We, uh, we came here to Perpignan, who were on a very good run. Mais, uh, on est content. Enfin, on se l'était dit. Very Et happy. On a à dire, ouais, on a fait tourner, mais comme je l'avais dit, euh, dit, on est, on est un groupe de 40 et on a répondu présent. C'est un gros coup parce que it's been a, it's been a great personne n'arrive à, à gagner ici. Vous mesurez quand même la, la portée de, de cette grosse performance. Ah oui, oui. Euh, on en prend tous conscience. On était arrivé ici. On voulait prendre des points, peu importe si c'était 1, 4. On voulait des points et euh, vraiment... On, yeah, on we wanted to show our better face when we came here bon, and uh, we, we, we came eight. away. Nous, on regarde le, uh, le we, classement, we, bien sûr. Tout est hyper done well to win here. Je pense que là, vous allez peut-être laisser derrière, derrière vous, justement. Et est-ce que vous vous donnez le droit, pourquoi pas, au-delà de la huitième place, de, de regarder un peu plus haut, de vivre une, une fin de saison euh, un peu plus relax et, et peut-être avec une bonne nouvelle au, au bout Can you make the top eight and maybe even look higher for... On va garder les pieds sur terre et on va prendre match après match. Oh, we're just going to keep our feet on the ground and, and take it match by match. Tous les week-ends, ça, ça peut passer d'un côté comme de l'autre. Every weekend, it can go de, one way or the other. Digérer cette finale de, de Coupe d'Europe parce que le, le scénario il est terrible pour vous. Vous avez réussi à switcher. C'est déjà bien et puis voilà, il y a la suite. Difficult qui va last week and losing that semi-final. Ouais, ben bah, on l'espère tous. Je trouve que ça nous a fait du bien, comme j'avais dit, c'est deux jours off. On a pu switcher et euh, gagner ici, ça nous a permis de penser off, à autre chose. Et puis, nous avons switché à la mode de jeu pour ça et ils l'ont fait très bien. Donc, c'était uh, Baptiste Jeunot, juste 20 ans. Il a scoré l'un des deux second half tries qui a pris Clermont à cette tremenda victoire. Allons juste avoir un look. Gosh, il y a beaucoup de highlights dans cette second half. Un petit chase up field. Yerine Fowl. Did well, but is uh, is penalised. It's a quick uh, penalty take from Ekoshar. Moves it wide, and what a finish here from uh, Jake McIntyre, squeezing in at the corner, bursting through the tackle of his uh, fellow Australian Alex Newsom. Well, a couple of penalties, and that moved out to a 21-6. Then uh, Brazo was yellow carded. And Clermont bounce back in with uh, Leon Dari Carrère going through for the try. Set up by Matisse Belobre. Not long afterwards, they got their second. It was off the back of the scrummage. Through they go. There's the try. And it's Yogi Beria. The loose head prop who touches down for his first try of the season. Here, here, here. Piling forward. And that was a try for uh, Etienne Fourcard. By that stage, uh, Veridamu had also scored up at the other end. Avantage 18. Uda Piletta with the up and under. And watch Jono, the young scrum half, steals the ball from Ekoshar. Jake McIntyre hasn't a prayer of keeping up with him. Fabulous try for Jono, which was uh, converted by Uda Piletta. Took it to 33 points to 28. Uda Piletta added another penalty. Final score here. At the start, Aimé Girard, Pepignon 28, Clermont 35, three points to four. A terrific win on the road for Clermont.
and disappointment for Perpignan.